Good afternoon from the Kettle Land Live Doppler Storm Center. Temperatures are in the 30s and 40s and even a couple of 50s showing up here across southwestern and south central South Dakota. We'll go with that mostly sunny to partly cloudy sky for the rest of your afternoon with highs in the 30s and 40s and 50s. A lot more details on your forecast coming up as we begin midday in Kettle Land. Live from Killoland Media Group, midday in Killoland. Cyclists will be out in force across Sioux Falls this weekend. A preview of the annual Cranksgiving scavenger hunt. Plus, a new pick for the nation's top law enforcement official. I'm Nicole Skanga on Capitol Hill with more on President-elect Trump's latest choice for Attorney General. Good afternoon and thanks for having us in. South Dakota Senator Mike Rounds is proposing legislation to do away with the U.S. Department of Education. It's called the Returning Education to Our States Act. The move falls in line with President-elect Donald Trump's promise to eliminate the Department of Education, which was formed in 1979. It's time to take a look at it again, get the dollars back to the states, allow the states to do this with input from the local districts, the block granted. I think that's where the best decisions are made. Get rid of the federal red tape, get rid of the regulatory activity coming from bureaucrats in Washington, D.C. Round says under his plan, the state of South Dakota and tribes should get the same amount of federal dollars they've been getting. Pivoting to weather, looks like a pretty quiet weekend. We could be seeing some snow perhaps Monday, Scott? Well, we are looking at that. You know, late Sunday going into Monday morning, eastern Kelloland may have some light precipitation as, you know, another hit of some colder weather starts to move in. Hey, it's nice to get a break from the wind, and that's where I do want to start. You know, we've had these strong winds over the past couple of days. Right now, we do have wind speeds 5, 10 miles per hour, even calm as we have that from Brookings and areas to the north to include Watertown and Sisseton. Otherwise, light winds, 5, maybe 10 miles per hour in many locations. And we have sunshine and a temperature of 47 in Rapid City. Look at Custer near 60 at 58, 56 in Pine Ridge, 37 in Pier. We have 39 degrees Chamberlain, partly cloudy Sioux Falls and 38. Currently 30 in Watertown, 33 in Aberdeen. We have a couple of clouds trying to make their way in from the west. I think they'll ride that warm front that is now draped across parts of Wyoming. And that warm front will continue to move to the east as we get into tonight and tomorrow. And I think south of that front will probably have temperatures much like today in the 50s to near 60 degrees. So we'll go with highs in the 50s in western and southwestern South Dakota, 30s and 40s for just about everybody else, mostly sunny to partly cloudy conditions. As we do take a look at uh, the weekend forecast, temperatures in the 30s and 40s, We'll have to watch in case we do get any snow showers to go across western South Dakota. That may happen late in the day on Sunday. Some of that may spill over into early Monday morning in parts of eastern Kettle Land. In the meantime, tonight, temperatures will fall to the teens and 20s. We'll have light winds. And for tomorrow, you can expect temperatures in the 30s and 40s. I'll have more details on your Kettle Land Live Doppler forecast coming up. Thank you, Scott. Cyclists will be out in force tomorrow in Sioux Falls celebrating Cranksgiving. A pre-Thanksgiving tradition, Cranksgiving is part scavenger hunt, part race, as participants ride from grocery store to grocery store collecting food items. At the end of the day, the bounty of food will be donated to Feeding South Dakota. This time of year, it, money is always tight. Um, you have increased heating bills, uh, you know, the cost of gas is way up. So there's a lot of need in our community for an organization like Feeding South Dakota, and we're happy to help out in any way that we can. Thanksgiving begins with check-in at 11 tomorrow morning at Spoken Sport on Cliff Avenue in Sioux Falls. The cyclists will buy one food item per store and collect at least four items and be sure to save your receipts. Customers and artists are rolling up their sleeves once again at a popular tattoo shop that's at a new location in downtown Sioux Falls. This new bunny moved into a space at the historic Sioux Square at 6th and Main two months ago. The staff has resumed tattooing and piercing customers, but there are still some adjustments being made getting settled into the new surroundings. Just the, uh, the mechanics of putting new sinks into an old system in this kind of building is, is definitely presented some obstacles. There's also a bit of an adjustment for Vishnu Bunny's longtime customers. Find out what they think about the move to a new location in tonight's Eye on Kelland at 10.
The National Women's Soccer League Championship is tomorrow. The Orlando Pride and Washington Spirit are facing off at Kansas City. Both teams have superstar lineups. The Pride are led by legendary Brazilian star Marta. Most goals in Women's World Cup history. Spirit are on body bear their star, Ford Trinity Rodman an Olympic gold medalist for Team USA. CBS Saturday Morning co-host Dan Jacobson has more now on how the Spirit and the Pride are getting ready for the big match. Nice one up. Oh, she's done it again! Are you down off the high from the semifinal win yet? Yeah, I mean, couldn't celebrate too much because job's not done yet. With a free kick. The Washington Spirit. The equalizer! Taking on the Orlando Pride. Line it up for Orlando! Very special, it's very exciting to have the chance to bring back a championship for Orlando after some not so great years is just, it means everything. It's the team's third matchup this season, and after losing the first two, the Spirit hoped this one's the charm. Someone told me that it's hard to beat a team three times. But the Pride are ready for the challenge. Posting up in the box, at the spot, that's how you do it! We are going there with a different approach. We know what we are looking for and we are ready for it. Who's also ready for it? The more than 11,000 spectators expected to attend Saturday's sold-out final at CPKC Stadium. It's the cap to the NWSL's record-setting season of more than 2 million fans across its 14 teams. Now finds Rodman, flag stays down, Rodman off the post and in! I don't think I'll ever get used to playing in front of so many people, even just like two people. I think I really? always, yeah, I think I always enjoy entertaining, but also I still surprisingly get nerves for every single game. And finds Rodman. Part of those nerves this time include Brazilian soccer legend Marta on the opposing team. Marta is just one of those players where it's kind of impossible to take her out of the game. The 38-year-old has scored more World Cup goals than anyone and she scored the game-winning goal in Orlando's semifinal victory in spectacular fashion. What is it like to be in this championship matchup? Magic moment for me, because I've been in this club for so long, and so it's, I'm, I'm just enjoy every single moment. So how close might this match be? Well, these two teams tied for wins in the regular season. A victory for the Spirit would be their second title. For the Pride, it would be their first. Dana Jacobson, CBS News, Kansas City. So the